In today's video, I'm going to share with you all on how I set up a home budget theater system at around 390 ringgits or $90. As you can see on the table here, these are the items that I'm going to need to set up a budget home theater system in my living room. A pad of speaker, projector, amplifier, RCA cables and HDMI cables. Before I move on with the unboxing, I want to clarify that I only spend money on the projectors, amplifier and the RCA cable. The rest is already available in my house. At this moment, I believe some of you might have felt that you have been tricked. Let me explain myself. This pair of speakers are the reasons I want to set up a budget home theatre system in the first place as these speakers are lying around the house and sooner or later it's going to waste if we are not going to use it. If you ever want to add this pair of old Iowa speakers into the total cost, it is still not going to be any difference as I have checked online and found that this pair of speakers is around 30 to 45 bucks a pair. And this is also one of the reasons why I'm using a bookshelf speaker and not some fancy bar or what else whatsoever. Without further ado, let's move on with the unboxing. This is the Vivi Bright F10 series projectors. Let's unbox it. The packaging you can see that it's God knows what happened. So inside the box we have the power adapter, remote control, the projectors, and also the instruction manual, and this is how inside look like. So now let's have a closer look at this projector. So here we have a remote and a power adapter a 240 volt power adapter and also the projectors from VV Bright F10 series so at the front you can see that there is a cover to cover the projector screen and on the left side and on the right side, there is an inbuilt speaker. And on the top, there is a 9 button. And from the back, you can see that there is a power input, HDMI port, two USB port, one IR sensor, and one audio output. And at the bottom, there is an extender so that you could actually project it at a higher degree. Second item, amplifier. We got one remote. Oh, it's broken. And the amplifier is just like this. And an instruction manual. And that's all. Now, let's have a closer look at this amplifier. As I've shown you just now, the remote is broken, so I might have to just give some bad rating. So hopefully that this amplifier is good. So let's have a look. So we have these instructions. So as you can see from the front, these are all the volume control, two mic output, USD. My bad, let's do it again. So at the front, there's a power buttons and volume control. And also have a Bluetooth functions. We have a USB and a SD and also two mic output. And at the back, there's a radio antenna, power, power input, and also our speaker output and also our audio input. So that's all for this amplifier. 
to set out the speakers, first twist the speaker cable to make a cable out of individual wire so that it will be easier for you to insert it into the hole in the post later and based on my research online it doesn't matter which wire goes into the positive or the negative post so i will connect the wire with the line indication into the positive post just press and insert and you are good to go before you connect the other side of the speaker wire to the amplifier you do need to make sure that the positive post of the speaker wire is connected to the positive post of the amplifier and also the correct left and right channel depending on how you place the speaker in your living room and if you feel like the exposed copper wire is too long you can either choose to cut off the excess or just like me, fold it in half and insert it into the amplifier Next, connect the RCA cable Once everything is connected, the speaker set is officially done. As for the projector, we set up a small stage against the wall for the projector. At the back, we have connected HDMI cables and power cables that leads down to the power source and the laptop. If you do not want cables to connect across the room to the laptop, you can always use the Bluetooth features in the amplifier. Here is a little comparison of using the projector in the afternoon. Afternoon and night time. Here are some of the settings the projector provides picture mode where you can adjust the contrast, brightness, color, sharpness and tint. You can also adjust the color temperature according to your desire. Whether you want it to be more red or less, it can be adjusted. Aspect ratio and display size all can be adjusted, even sound mode. Its surround sound features from its own speaker was um, okay and the overall volume is quite low. Therefore, it is always recommended to connect to an external speaker while watching a movie. Next, you can also rotate your display 360 degrees. And the fan sound of the projector is awfully loud. But once you play something, you can hardly hear the sound of the project. I would like to state that this projector is out of my expectation. It's amazing how much we are getting at this price point. 
Although we can only watch it at night to get a better quality, I still think it's worth it. By the way, remember when I unboxed the amplifier? The remote was broken. I happen to have a lookalike remote and after I test it, it works as well. But the button label is different for both remote. So all I have to do is replace the remote label and it works like a charm after that without worrying which button is which. In conclusion, I believe that this home project was a success. All my family members enjoyed it. That's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be notified when a new video is uploaded. Leave a comment to tell me what do you think of this video. Be sure to like the video and I'll see you in the next video.